All right, questions 35 through 38. Let's get right into it. So we have, um, it costs $2,500 to administer each YQ test and $50 to administer each SAM 77 test. What was the total cost to administer both tests to all the volunteers? So let's go ahead and read uh, this, this figure here. So many humans carry the gene YQ77. The YQ test determines with 100% accuracy. Okay, so guys, the, the YQ77 test is 100% accurate. Uh, whether a human carries YQ77. If it's YQ test result is positive, the human carries the gene. Okay, if it's negative, it doesn't. Okay. SAM design a less expensive test for YQ77 called the SAM77 test. All right, guys, so we're, now we're going to test this less expensive test to see how good it actually is. Uh, it says that it produces some incorrect results, blah, 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 and it was administered to 1,000 volunteers, and the results are shown below. All right, guys, what this table is saying is there are 590 participants who tested positive using the YQ and the positive SAM77. So that means that uh, this was a positive test. Uh, there's... 25 participants who tested negative for the SAM 77, but they tested pop, but they actually were positive. So this is a false negative, right? Uh, right here, positive. Okay, I think you get the idea, right? Is that you have a false negative here, um, I know, a true negative, and then a false, a false positive here. Okay, so what we can do here is let's just answer the question. So it costs $2,500 to administer each YQ test and $50 to administer each SAM 77 test. So there's a hundred, sorry, there's a thousand volunteers, right? And we're giving them both, both tests. So it's going to be two thousand five hundred dollars times one thousand plus fifty times one thousand. All right, so we are going to get E, and you don't have to do much. You can just look at this and say, look, I, I, I should get a clean number, right? I'm both playing by a thousand and a thousand so i should get a clean number and i should get that extra fifty thousand okay so there's that so let's move on to the next problem what percent of the volunteers actually carry yq77 so the only way that we'll know if they actually carry it is if they have a positive yq test right so if we look at this right here we see 590 of them have a positive yq test so let's see is there anything else we need to keep in mind here yeah, so it's 590 and then 25. So even though it was negative on the SAM 77 test, because it was positive on the YQ test, it, it's 100% accurate. So that has to be the case that they actually have it. So we're going to have 590 plus 25 divided by 1,000 multiplied by 100%. And uh, these can kind of cancel down a little bit. So I'm going to get 615 divided by 10. And this is going to be 61.5%. So my answer is going to be J. Okay, problem 37. For how many volunteers did the SAM 77 test give an incorrect result? All right, so what we have to look for is any time there's some discrepancy between the SAM 77 and the positive YQ test, that's when the SAM 77 was wrong. So we have a negative, seven, a negative SAM 77 test and a positive YQ. So there's a discrepancy here and there is a discrepancy here. So that is going to be 25. Wait, let me make sure that says 25. Yeah, 25. Oops. 25 plus 10 out of 1,000. No, I'm sorry. Wait, yes, yes, sorry. Whoa, okay, so you don't need to divide by 1,000. You just need to add them up. It says for how many? So it is going to be 35. Our answer is going to be C. All right. Okay, last question. So one of the volunteers whose SAM 77 test result was positive will be chosen at random. To the nearest 0.001, what is the probability that the chosen volunteer does not possess YQ77? All right, guys, so we are looking for a false positive here. So the total number of positive SAM77 tests is going to be 590 plus 10. So 600 is going to be our denominator here. And we want to know the probability that it was a false positive. So a false positive is whenever we get a positive test from the less accurate test, but in reality, they were negative, right? So that's going to be 10 divided by um, 600, which is going to be 1 over 60, which is equal to 0 0.16. I think it's approximately 0 0.166. Um, so this is going to be, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I forgot an extra zero. This should be zero. It's approximately 0 0.0166. And then it you know, kind of goes on. Um, but yeah, this is going to round to 0 0.017, and that is going to be our answer. So answer is going to be F. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.